Medical Professor Edmund Phelps joins us now live from Berlin. Uh, good morning, Professor. Let me good morning. Let me begin by asking you about just where we are in this recession and this recovery. Well, I think in, uh, in the Western nations, the uh, recovery has started in some countries and uh, it's on the way in others. Nobody in the world knows how fast the recovery is going to go. Uh, but uh, I think there, there is mounting concern about how far it's going to go. I, I think it could, it could end up kind of stalling out with, with unemployment rates of 7 or 8 percent, something like that. And that's very worrying. What are the major risks then and the reasons why it may stall and not recover as, as we're hoping that it will? Well, uh, that's a matter of conjecture at this point. It's, it's not hard science, you know. Um, the, uh, the conference that brings me here, the uh, conference of, of the uh, Center on Capitalism Society at Columbia, that brings me here to Berlin, is going to discuss um, what the um, medium-term prospects are and what we can do uh, to improve on those prospects. Uh, but I, I would say that there are signs uh, of a, a decline in the innovativeness or the uh, dynamism of the, uh, of the economy in the United States. And um, uh, can for example... You point example to what's, uh, can, can you point to what's caused that slowing down, that lack of dynamism? Well, uh, <clears throat> I see, uh, first of all, somewhat slower productivity growth over the, over this, this pres the outgoing uh, decade than in the previous decade. I see a venture capital industry that's shrinking. I see um, a tremendous amount of short-termism in the business sector. The CEOs seem to be obsessed only about hitting profits targets for the next quarter. They've stopped thinking about three years, five years ahead for the most part. And, and um, although the stock market seems high to us maybe these days, um, if, if you look at the stock market valuations in the aggregate as a uh, relative to the gross domestic product, uh, it's below the level in the mid-90s now. And are you worried? So there are lots of, signs, lots of signs that prospects in the future are weaker, and I think that's very much tied to the fact that people don't have any innovation plans uh, ready to go. Are you worried then that we're also seeing asset bubbles at the moment? Well, I, I don't really think that share prices are, are all that high um, in, in relation to uh, productivity. As I was just saying, indeed, they're a little bit depressed. Um, I, 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 I think what you probably have in mind is commodities, gold, um, and then, of course, um, some of the uh, currencies have, have uh, gotten pretty high against the dollar. In other words, the dollar has gotten pretty weak. I Not, think a lot of this is weak dollar. What, if, 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 if stocks aren't particularly high at the moment, what do you think is going to happen when banks withdraw their stimulus packages? Well, I, I don't think that the central bank of the United States, the Federal Reserve, is going to withdraw its, um, all, that huge uh, infusion of liquidity uh, in any abrupt way. I think it's going to be spaced out over two or three years, so I don't think we'll feel it uh, all that much. Mm. I think they'll be trying to withdraw it as the economy gathers a little strength. How do you feel uh, that they've done so far? I mean, have they taken the right moves? Uh, I think the central bank, the Fed, has uh, done well in um, responding to the rush toward liquidity following the panic uh, connected with uh, the collapse of Lehman. Uh, it did a very good job uh, there. Uh, maybe it's gone a little too far in guaranteeing uh, every loan under the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, and. For sure, there's a lot to criticize the Fed about the earlier years when, when uh, the uh, asset markets were going so crazy and the Fed did nothing. Edmund Phelps, thank you very much for joining us.